Level third grade, Mr. Pfeiffer here. Last week we were doing some angle binds. Hope you guys remember. If you want to practice some of those, just get it in. Remember we did four going one way, four going across. Always make sure there's four and see how they kind of all line up together. Almost makes like a diamond shaped. So why don't you practice those for a little bit. Then you're a little confident with those again. I feel comfortable doing them. Shammy. I've got Elsa and Anna today. Um, oh, there's Anna. There's Elsa. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to take some of that, what we did last week with those angled squares, and then we're going to start out today really lightly. I don't want it to be too dark. And you'll see why later. But let's draw a square, best we can. Now, once everybody has that, let me go over it again. Doesn't have to be a perfect square. Again, don't worry about messing up on your chalkboard. If that happens, you mess up, you don't like it, you erase it and start over. No big deal. All right, so everybody have a square? I hope so. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to draw one of those angled lines in the top left corner. Once we get that done, we're going to move across to the top right. Come on down to the bottom right. And finish up in the middle, no we're not in the middle, bottom left. Alright, give you guys a second to catch up. Now, we're going to come back, we're going to make three more angle lines in our top left. Try and keep them evenly spaced. Three more angle lines in our top right, and go around, ending up in the bottom left again. So now, we've got a square. In four corners, we've got some angles, made some triangles. What does this shape kind of look like in the middle? Almost a diamond, right? So let's make that look a little bit more like a diamond. So we're going to draw a line on the left and try and keep it evenly spaced from where you have your angle. Come back around to the right. Get this lined up here pretty good. I'm going to start over here on the left. It's just easier for me. And then come back up. So we've got a nice diamond shaped in the middle. Then, what we're going to do is one straight line connecting the up and down points. All across. It looks like a kite. Excuse me, give you guys a second to catch up. Once we do that, let's draw another diamond. And another diamond. Sounds good. Everybody kind of have something like that? Awesome. Now, what I want you guys to do is practice this again. You can always come back. Brace, rectangle, angle, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, diamond, lines, diamond, diamond. All right, practice it, see how fast you can do it. Take your time, back and forth. When we're done and we're comfortable with that, I want us to put it in our books. And I have done one earlier that I'd like to show you now. Get kind of fancy with it. Added, you can see I added some yellow there. Another angle, some more angles, it looks like a big X. Um, 
So I started out really lightly drawing my square. And then when I came in with my color, I got darker so you don't see the, the square there in the middle. You guys can leave that in if you want. Actually, if you get close, you can see a little bit of a line. So have fun with it. Use your colors. Use some of those diagonals we learned, we practiced last week. And we will be with you all in about a week. All right, third grade, have fun. Get outside if you can, even in the rain. And be safe. Bye.